hi guys welcome back to another cook video today i'm making tomato stew with chicken and also okra soup and i want to take you guys how i prepare my stew and also my okra that always lasts us for some weeks or some days i hope you enjoy watching you see how beautiful this okra soup is looking like so keep watching and know how i make it so first of all i start with the tomatoes the fresh tomatoes pepper and onion i put everything in the tray and then put it in an oven so that the water will drain small and then it will just reduce the sour taste of the tomatoes so here is my meat my protein that i'm using that's fish and chicken that I'm using. So I'll use the fish for the stew. So these are my canned tomatoes and the tomato paste that I'll add to the tomato because I don't have enough fresh tomatoes. So I added diced tomatoes and this diced tomatoes is very delicious. It does not make the stew sour. So I used three cans. So this is how my meat and the fish looks like now guys it's time for me to fry the chicken so i use the leftover oil that i use to fry my bull fruit i have the full video on it on my channel i'll leave the link under the description please go check it out okay so yeah my so guys i'm frying the chicken and i really like fried chicken more than grilled chicken and my chicken sometimes i want it dry not too much moist not too much dry so i'm kind of unpredictable when it comes to meat because meat is not my favorite so here so now the chicken is in the oil and and it's deep frying that's how i like my fried chicken i really deep fry it so that it will be crunchy outside and juicy inside so you see how it is so here i remove everything from the oil and then start the main stew guys please if you have watched up to this time and you haven't subscribed to my channel please what are you waiting please consider this this girl eh? please <laughs> and also like my videos and share my videos please you see how the chicken is looking like oh god it looks so yummy so here i'm adding my blended ginger garlic and onion to it sometimes i add chopped onion to it too sometimes too i go with the blended one so the tomato paste goes in now and then i mix everything this one the oil is too hot but i've lowered the heat so that it will not burn so after that i added my curry powder to it and fry it stir fry it well so that everything will be well, well balanced so immediately i put the blended pepper mix to it and also stir fry it you have to fry your tomatoes well so that it will be well cooked and prevent sourness the way i start this stew it looks similar to the watches stew that i have already uploaded so check it on my channel too. I will leave that link to under the description so that you check it how I make my watches to you. So here I keep on stirring it. You have to stir so that it will not burn. Here I've deboned the fish and I will put it in the stew. But before then I have to put my meat stock to it before I add any seasoning because you don't want your stew to get salty you have to put the meat stock first before anything else so here i give it a stir and taste for the salt before adding the fish and other seasoning to it so that's my fish and my seasoning going in now and it's still on low heat so you just add any seasoning of your choice and this is how it is so i just covered it and then it's cooked on its own in a medium heat so it's getting ready if you see the oil on top that means it's getting ready so i just add my fried chicken this chicken i ended up chopping half of it before 
so that's this I just stir it now and then you allow it to boil in a medium or low heat because now it's half cooked like almost cooked so this is how the steel looks like I'll fetch some of the oil from it before I portion it in the bowl so that's my tomato steel so here I'm starting my other soup um, my okra so I've already boiled chicken and beef and I'm adding fresh fish to it and this is how I like it because I'll use the sauce to do something so I make the sauce lighter and this is how the okra also looks like I blended it and also allow some big chunks into it so just stay it this okra soup will go with so many things um bangkung eba tz fufu that's what we normally eat our okra with because we can eat it with fufu we can eat it with eba we can eat it with bangkung or tz so here i'm adding my potato leaf to it i got this potato leaf and the okra from the african store so they've already chopped it and frozen it so this is how so i just wash it with salt because i don't know where it's coming from i just bought it from the store so i have to wash it with salt before adding it to my soup so that's it i have another similar way that i cook my okra is also in my channel so you can check it out so this is how my thick okra soup <laughs> my vegetable okra soup looks like very thick so here yeah, i mix everything make sure that it's well mixed before adding anything i to cook it. the okra in a low heat because i don't want it too cooked so here it's time for me to transfer my okra vegetable into the meat stock so that my soup will be ready like that <laughs> so here i mix it and add the sauce and later on add the meat the leftover meat and the fish to it and that is it my pot was really disturbing me but so i fed some of the soup into that bowl and later on add the rest of the sauce so guys thank you so much for watching up to this time and please consider subscribing and share my video to other people too thank you guys and shout out to cooking with Efia. Efia, thank you so much for always watching my videos we are eating this soup with banku so this is how my meal came out with hot banku with okra soup guys see you later in my next video and enjoy the rest of the video mm -hmm.